The Michael Jackson show began rolling into town this morning. Workmen braved the elements, transforming the hallowed Adelaide Oval turf for the Jackson extravaganza. 480 tonnes of stage and sound equipment were transported into the ground. Road crews will put the finishing touches to the spectacular set tomorrow. It'll be nothing like you've ever seen before. Um, Michael is uh, an, the ultimate performer, the ultimate showman. After no doubt wooing a sellout crowd in Melbourne tonight, the self-proclaimed king of pop will arrive in town tomorrow. Stop. Stop. Adelaide fans can catch the pop star for the first time in the flesh when his private jet touches down at Adelaide Airport at 2pm. Promoters expect hundreds of fans will flock to the Hyatt tomorrow to catch a glimpse of their idol and they won't be disappointed. The controversial pop star will mingle for 15 minutes outside the hotel while being entertained by various local artists. And just to make sure Michael's personal space isn't invaded, 100 security officers will be on hand to control the crowd. The Jackson minders aren't leaving any ground unturned, checking and double-checking Jackson's planned path. But once Jackson enters his penthouse suite, fans won't see the pop recluse until he leaves for Tuesday night's two-and-a-half-hour performance. Uh, he likes to stay in the hotel because he likes to rest. And when you see the performance, you can understand why. He's been labelled the greatest performing artist of our time. It's a huge rap, but it's also pretty difficult to argue with. Even the harshest critics of his lifestyle have been unanimous. His live show is extraordinary. Today, the Michael Jackson show rolled into Adelaide. He arrived by plane with his massive security personnel. Fans had a big decision to make. Stake out the airport or his hotel for their best chance of seeing their idol. The Hyatt Hotel on North Terrace was definitely the place to be. Unlike other pop stars that go into their hotels via the back door, Michael insisted on being dropped off at North Terrace so he could walk up the path to the front door, giving everyone a chance to see him up close. Local dance troupe Raw Ranks were hoping that Michael would be entertained. They succeeded. He met with local Aboriginal children who presented the superstar with gifts. He even had a chance to see some of our local wildlife. Inside the Hyatt, he was greeted by the Pembroke School's Year 7 Choir. They sang for Michael the song, Teach the Child, Touch the Future. Well, of course, that was the Pembroke School Choir. I've got some Mary McKillop uh, ladies here at the moment, and they're amongst about 30 or 40 people that are hanging around the hotel at the moment. Guess you're hoping to get a glimpse a little bit later, I suppose? Yes. Yeah, you're hoping. The word is he comes out around about 4 o'clock looking for a video. I mean, that's what the big clue here is at the moment. I can also tell you he's up on the 24th floor at the moment, probably looking the opposite direction uh, towards the north, but uh, the crew, his uh, security people and uh, the dancers have taken up over more than a hundred rooms up in the Hyatt there tonight. So like everybody else, I guess you're hoping for a glimpse. And would you like, if, if Michael is watching right now, what would you say to him? Michael, we love you! Yeah, I think he gets the message. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Paul. Should be a spectacular show tomorrow night. Hello to all my fans in Australia. I really look forward to seeing you all next month. I love you all, goodbye. The greatest performing artist of our time in the greatest show of all time. Michael Jackson, live in Australia on the History World Tour. Adelaide Oval, Tuesday. Jackson Fever. The superstar and his entourage jetted into town this afternoon aboard a private charter jet. The normally shy king of pop was surprisingly relaxed and friendly, much to the delight of his many Adelaide fans. Trisha Carp is in the thick of the Jackson frenzy. She joins us now. Trisha? Well, Jane, it is much quieter here than it was a few hours ago. Michael Jackson's apparently in his room resting at the moment, and I'm told he is not planning on going out tonight. Now, he flew in today without his new wife, Debbie, who's apparently on her way back to America. 
20 minutes late, hiding under an umbrella and without his trademark mask. But Michael Jackson was looking remarkably relaxed. It was only a small crowd at the international airport. Jackson was expected to step straight into a waiting Tarago. But instead, he headed across the tarmac to see fans, a security guard picking up one young child and carrying him over to meet the star. But the little boy didn't seem at all interested, not until his family brought him back. Jackson then strolled over to see more fans squashed up against a gate, stopping to sign some autographs. Another quick wave, then it was into the waiting car, on course to the Hyatt Hotel. Umbrella still in hand, he stopped to watch some Aboriginal dancers who he'd asked to perform for him. Obviously having a good time and still looking completely at ease, Jackson spoke to some Aboriginal people touching one child. We couldn't believe we yeah. seen him. Yeah. We're happy that yeah. we yeah. I'm really, really happy. Oh, he then moved along a line of more Aboriginal children. Nice to see you. Hello. You have a great country. And just when everyone thought he'd go inside, Jackson broke away from the main crowd and went over to see fans crowding next to the casino. It was all just too much for some people, and not everyone walked away happy. He just walked up halfway and then he didn't come, and I was devastated. <laughs> so I just thought I was going to meet him, I was so sad. At the front door, security staff held back emotional fans, but one lucky fan got some special treatment. Thank you, Michael. You're beautiful. A singing superstar he may be, but he was still keen to have a listen to the Pembroke Year 7 school choir. Then it was up to the presidential suite for a rest. Now I'm told Jackson has summoned that famous doctor to the stars, Deepak Chopra, to his room for a consultation. Now they're longtime friends, so we don't know if Jackson's sick or it's just a social call. But we'll keep an eye on his movements tonight and we'll show you more tomorrow night. Back to you in the studio.